This always popular dessert comes together so easily that you will wonder why you don't make it more often. My favorite ice cream pie is made with a brownie crust, but you can just as easily use a store-bought cookie crust and skip the baking process and still have a delicious ice cream pie. To make this ice cream pie with salted caramel sauce, you'll need one half gallon of French vanilla ice cream, one recipe of my shed brownie recipe, which you can find on my channel, a recipe of my salted caramel sauce, also on my channel, and some finishing sea salt flakes. You'll start with a pre-made brownie crust in a springform pan that's been cooled. And to this, you're going to add your softened ice cream. Ice cream should be soft enough that it'll spread easily over the top of the brownie. I put mine in the microwave just a little bit just to kind of soften it a bit. But you want to make sure that it doesn't get too soft. But this will go back in the freezer after we get all the ice cream on top of the brownie. Get all your ice cream out of your container. It needs to be soft enough that you can spread it and work with it. But not so soft that it loses its integrity. So just smooth out your ice cream until it has evenly covered the whole surface. And now this goes back into the freezer for probably at least two hours before it'll be ready to be cut and served. Our ice cream pie has been in the freezer hardening up for two hours. And now to serve it, you want to take it from the springform pan. Might need to run a knife around the edges a little bit. Lift the collar off, and now it's ready to slice. To slice it, you want to take a sharp knife and dip it in hot water. Rinse it off and then repeat it again. And you can slice this cake into 8, 10, or 12 servings, depending on what you want. The ice cream pie is rumored to have been the invention of a restaurant owner in San Francisco. Others say the idea came from the southern states with the creation of the Mississippi mud pie. My ice cream pie is served with a salted caramel sauce and sprinkled lightly with a French sea salt is sure to become a family favorite.